Hi, my name's Mark. Uh, I've been asked to show users how to use the Property Manager 2.0 free property management software provided by Property Hawk. Um, so, first of all, if a user logs on, just type in their email and their password. Click log on. In this first session, what I want to do is show users how to um, add a property address, how to add a tenant and tenancy details to that property address, and how to uh, create a tenancy agreement pre-populated with those details for them to download and print. Okay, right, so from the beginning, in this exercise, I want to show a user how to add a property and a tenancy. So from the welcome page, there's a link here, add a property and tenancy, that you could click on. Alternatively, users can go to summary, and there's a link here, add an address and tenancy, which is the same link as on the welcome page. So I'm going to click on that. So first of all, it's asking for a property address. So I'm going to put a, uh, a fake address in for this. So 12 Made Up Street. Um, and we'll put that in York. And again, I'll put a Made Up postcode in so that we don't actually put anything authentic. So, once you're happy with the address and postcode, just please press that next link. Okay, it's coming through now to a screen that says current tenants. Now, this is for users with a portfolio already added that might want to create um, a new tenancy using existing tenants, in which case they could just click on an existing tenant and it means that they don't have to refill tenancy details each time they create a new tenancy. For the purposes of this exercise I'm going to create a new tenant details so I just click skip this step. So it's asking me for the name of my tenant so I'm going to call it Mr. Harry uh, Houdini and I'm going to give him an email address of Harry Houdini at escape email. And I'm going to give him some non existent telephone numbers. Once I'm happy with his details, if it is that under this tenancy there's more than one tenant, I can add further tenant details. In this case, Harry Houdini's all on his own. So I'll just press next. Okay, it's now asking me for tenancy details. So I'm going to put Harry in a flat in the property. But it might be that you want to describe it as a room if it's a house of multiple occupation. Or it could be the whole house, in which case put whole house. Whatever helps you define exactly what that tenancy space is. So, type of building, okay, it's a flat. Number of bedrooms, I'm going to give him one bedroom. It's unfurnished, and now it's asking me for a start date. So I'm going to go with a start date of the 3rd of April, okay, for six months which gives me an end date of the 3rd of October at a rent of £500 on a monthly frequency. Informal payment date. Okay, This is if you've arranged for a different date to that that um, exists on the tenancy agreement for when the tenant will pay you. And this is more of a a, a reminder or memo for landlords and it doesn't actually affect um, any of the description within the tenancy agreement. 
Um, so I'll leave that um, because I'm presuming that uh, Harry's going to pay me um, on the third of each month. Okay, he left me a deposit of £500. Okay, I'm happy with that. So I'll press next. Okay, that date has all been confirmed. 12 Maydot Street, York, Harry Houdini. So I'm going to press finish to save. Okay, so there's all the tenant details. Now to create a tenancy agreement using Harry Houdini at 12 Maydup Street as the pre-populated fields, all I need to do is go to the top bar and pick forms. Okay, now new form. In this case, I'm wanting a tenancy agreement, so I leave it on tenancy agreement. And yes, it is for 12 Maydup Street. So all I need to do now is click Create Form. Okay, the tenant, yes, the tenant is in fact Harry Houdini, so I'll leave it as Harry Houdini. And again, just click the Create Form link. Okay, it's telling me the tenancy agreement is now saved and ready for download. Uh, users will need um, software installed that enables them to read a PDF such as Acrobat Reader and all they need to do is click the download now and this document will be downloaded to their computer and they can open it using uh, their uh, software to read PDFs and um, print using the printer and uh, if they want to come back to edit or check on a form, all the created forms will be housed within their form management area. So we can see here in the list, we have Harry Houdini from 12 Maydup Street, York, and his tenancy agreement. So if a landlord needs to check on the tenant details or edit a tenant, tenant um, agreement, they can just come back to this forms area and uh, relook at their data. And that's it. That's how you add a property and how you add a tenancy and how you create a tenancy agreement. Other forms that a user can get is periodic notice, fixed term notice, rent net change notice, prescribed information and for now that's it. Um, what I'll look to do is come back and do some more video help um, about the other functions within the software. But for now, I've got through it. I hope I've not bored you too much and I'll leave you there. Bye for now.